We're leaving Arizona. Let's talk in the car. All right. We are leaving Arizona. Hope the audio is pretty good right now. I can't really put my mic in because of the way my phone holder is working there. But uh, yeah, I am. I'm done. We're uh, we're driving back to Texas as we speak. Uh, plans got moved forward a little bit. Uh, I was originally supposed to leave tomorrow. Tomorrow being Thursday, but due to the low census of patients at the hospital. They said I can just go ahead and go home now. So uh, I'm leaving with the sun instead of trying that hack I wanted to do with uh, leaving before the sun comes up around like two or three in the morning and then starting my drive then. But I mean, this will work too. So I'm currently heading to El Paso first just to go see a buddy of mine, Mr. Glenn himself. And uh, after that, I'll make the... Uh, <clears throat> the rest of the <clears throat> 11 hour drive back to Houston, which is going to be so freaking amazing, right? I mean, we're all going to, we all love driving 16 hours, right? But yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I might like pop in, talk to you guys every five hours or every three hours. I don't know, man. Let's just, let's just play this by ear, you know, like just like the rest of my, my videos. But yeah. Uh, well. I am good on gas, so I'm just gonna start this drive and now, yeah, I mean, we, we're we loaded, we're ready. Got the Celsius ready, you know, I got three of them just in, the, just in case your boy energy goes down. But other than that, let's vroom vroom! I was going 10 over, so I'm gonna see what he, she, well, she says. All right. Good morning. Hey, good morning, officer. Going just a little bit fast, man, okay? Oh. I, You're going about 85 and a 75, okay? Oh. Okay, do you have your license and registration here? I do, I do indeed, amongst okay. all this rubble in my car. I like, I like your Naruto, uh, I like your Naruto license plate cover. <laughs> Thank you so much. Akatsuki, you know? I, I didn't, you, you're an anime fan? No, I have a 13 year old son. Oh, man. Got, and Kakashi is. Is this super hot? <laughs> Kakashi is an awesome character. He would be so cute if he was real. <laughs> you know, people do cosplay as him, and they do make come off pretty uh, legit too. So, um, do you have your your uh, registration? Uh, I do. It's uh. So I think with my charmingly good looks, she's gonna let me off with a warning. I don't know, but uh, we shall see. She's uh running my stuff in her car right now. And then uh, hopefully once she's done with that, I can get back on the road and uh, I guess it's not speed. Again, I was going, she, she knows I was going 10 over. So I was like, dude, 10 over is not bad on a 75, but I guess it's a little different out here, but hey, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Peace. So I did get served. As you can see, I got the nice little diploma here. Uh, so, like I said, I was going uh, uh, 85 and a 75, and, uh, you know, we had a good conversation. Uh, she, I mean, we talked for about 10 minutes while she was standing in the sun. Cool, cool cop. Uh, she dropped it from uh, 85 to 80, so it looks like I'm just, I was just going 80 over instead of the 85. Uh, I just have to call the court, uh, settle it with them. It's not going to affect my license or mess with my uh, car insurance, which is already ridiculously high. But yeah, great outcome. Man, but at least we did a question. How fast do you guys normally go with the speed limits for like traveling across states? Do you go the standard 75 and you stick to it? Do you go five over? Do you go 10 over? Do you go 15 over, 20 over? I don't know. But uh, I think I'm gonna stick with that five area right now. You know, I'm not gonna go much higher than that. I don't feel like getting pulled over again. Actually, now that I don't feel like getting pulled over again, I think it'd look really ridiculous if I did get pulled over one more time. But yeah, still heading to El Paso. We're about, um, I want to say about an hour and a half away, two hours away. But yeah, going to get there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, just going to keep driving and then, yeah. El Paso, here we go. First stop, complete. General Glenn. 
right. Dude, you might as well be a General Glenn, all right? And that is the first mission objective complete. Just that was my um, my childhood friend Glenn. Had to see him before passing to El Paso. We did. So now it's time to complete this 11 hour drive, get back to Houston. Uh, gonna drive for about five more hours. Then I'll probably need to refill the tank, grab something to eat at that point, and then keep it moving. Probably gonna down a Celsius in the meantime. Uh, I don't know how you guys do long trips, if you guys even like doing long trips like this, but um, the way I have to do it is I can't just do all music. I have to cycle between audiobooks, music, podcasts, and maybe a phone call from a friend just to burn or kill some time. Because if I just do one thing for too long, my mind starts to go blank, and that's a recipe for disaster because then I'm not paying attention to what's going on around me. So that helps me get through long drives, such as this one. But yeah, gonna get back on the road. Mission objective, part one complete. Part two, let's say grab something to eat. And then three, get back home safely. I'll catch you guys in a second. Let me get back on the road. See ya in a bit. Peace. Where are my gosh dang manners? I haven't told y'all why I'm leaving Arizona. So pretty much, I'm a travel nurse. I've been traveling for about a little over two years now. Uh, I've been nursing for a total of eight to nine years. That is my main job class. My subclass is powerlifter slash bodybuilder, the warrior extraordinaire. Yeah, but um, yeah, contract is up. I'm going back to Houston. I'm gonna chill out there for a little bit, pick up a PRN job. A PRN job is a, a temporary job that I can work to put some money in the bank account while I'm just chilling, spending time with the family, uh, working on projects in Houston, collabing with people, you know, doing the things outside of the normal, you know, nine to five work life. See if I can build, build something while I'm off. I'm not gonna be taking it completely easy, but yeah, I am gonna be doing that. I'm looking forward to seeing my nephew. My sister just had a child, so that's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm really excited about that. Uh, other than that, I mean, I'll probably start looking for contracts again by the end of the year, like December-ish, and then start traveling again, maybe by mid-January, early February, if, you know, everything pans out correctly. I got exciting announcements coming up pretty soon that I'm gonna be, like, I. I I feel like I should have already told you guys, but I'm waiting until I settle down back in Houston, uh, pick a gym that I'm gonna be going to, and then I'll give you guys the announcement. But other than that, um, we're, what? I have about seven hours left of this drive. I haven't eaten yet. I've had like uh, pro two protein shakes, uh, half a Celsius, and some plantain chips for this ride. I'm waiting to get to a Bucky's. If you're from if you're from Texas and you're driving, or if you've passed through Texas before, you know you have to hit up Bucky's. I'm like, where the heck is my Bucky's at? You know what I mean? Because that's the only meal that I'm gonna have today, and I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, seven hours left of this drive. Should be arriving in Houston around 2:30 in the morning. But yeah, it's gonna get back to it. I was getting a little uh, mind mind numb, I think they call it, or that road hypnosis thing happening. And I just you know want to take a break and like chop it up with you guys a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to the road, listen to my audiobook, and then switch to some Lincoln Park or Bring on the Horizon, Bring on the Horizon or Bring Me the Horizon. One of the one or the other, and then we're gonna we're gonna get back to the road. We're gonna get back to driving straight without hitting anybody or getting hit by anybody. But yeah, 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 bye. Optional side quest complete. All right, finally I made it to Bucky's. Having my first meal of the day, it's approximately, I don't even, I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 12 or one or two or something like that. I got two hours left on the road. I feel sick, but I'm gonna try to eat something. I made the Bucky's, I might as well. 
I don't know if this part's gonna make it to the video or not because I'm feeling quite delirious, you know. But um, yeah, I just want to make it home. But at this point, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Sixteen-hour drives, not my thing. I hate long-distance drives. I just don't like it at all. But yeah, I'm done talking. I'm filling up. Hit my stomach. Yeah. Side quest complete though. We made the buckies. So first, uh, first bites on camera. We made it, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Mm. We made it. 1010 10, wouldn't recommend doing that. I'll, I'd say I wouldn't do it again, but knowing myself, I'll probably end up doing that again sometime. But for now, happy to be home. Feels good to be in this bed. And yeah, I'm just going to go to sleep. Thanks for following me around, along on that ride. Uh, it's been a journey. There was no lifting in this video, but it feels like I lifted all day. I'm really sore. Gonna be benching tomorrow. Yeah, enough of that. Mission complete. Like, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Catch y'all next one. Good night, y'all.